and my yarn loving friends and welcome to today's video where we are going to be diving into this glorious bag of Hirschner's Mystery Self Striping Cotton Blend Cakes. This is currently a sale item on their website. They are two for $15 and this is my first time ever ordering from them but I can tell you it will not be my last. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kim and I love yarn and all things yarn. This channel is a reflection of that love as well as hopefully inspire you through my own passion to really get into your own knitting and crochet journey. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back and checking out this video. I truly appreciate all my new and returning viewers greatly. We have this huge bag of Hirschners to dive into and we're going to be looking to see if these are the same cakes that Hobie sells, if they are colorways that are currently being sold on the Hobie website, or if they are just random cakes made up of actual mill ends and sold through Hirschners. We're also going to be weighing each of these to see if they're on point where they're supposed to be or if we're getting slightly cheated. First one that we're going to pull out is this. This is very pretty. Look, we have easy start tabs. I have Hobie Twister and the Sultan page pulled up and we're going to see if these are exact match to them or any of them. This definitely looks like an exact match to Twister number 17, which is Atlantic Ocean. And that's pretty exciting because Twister is a $38 per cake yarn and these I got for two for $15. I do know these are less yardage though. Hobie Twister is a total of 1,094 yards for 250 grams. And the label on these say 225 gram cakes with approximately 875 yards. So going in, we know that it's 219 less yards than if I was to buy it from the Hobie website. But again, half off. Atlantic Ocean starts off with a solid light gray and then goes into like a marl gray and then some blue and grays and this royal blue and then into this navy. This is a really pretty color combination. It is very nautical to me, but I do love these. I do love blue. So now let's weigh these to see how much yardage we actually have. To figure this out, we are going to be using a kitchen scale. I talk about this in one of my Ravelry how-to videos. I do this because I use exact yardage to figure out exactly how much I have. So when I go into a project, I know beforehand. These kitchen scales can be found at Walmart or Amazon anywhere like that you just want to try to find one that goes from the lowest reading around a gram to five grams because that's going to get you more accuracy with your yardage and we also want to test these to make sure that they are accurate to do this we just need a nickel and we're going to put it on a flat surface turn it on and place our nickel on the center and your nickel should read five grams if your nickel does not read five grams then you're going to need to calibrate your scale and every manufacturer is different and you should be able to look in the manual to see how to do so. Now we're going to weigh these two cakes. So it says 450 grams and we're going to use an equation to figure out the exact yardage. We're going to take that 450 grams and we're going to multiply that times the total yardage that one of them should have which would be 875 yards. We're going to get that answer, which is 393,750. And now we're going to divide that by the actual gram of one cake, which is 225. So that lets me know that there is 1,750 yards in these two, two cakes. Hmm. Knowing this information means we can really narrow down our search when we are looking for patterns to use these for. Really love these two. So now let's pull out our next ones. I wonder what they're going to look like. What do you think? Oh yeah. So these are not twins. They are slightly different. These are very beachy to me. This one has more moral gray and white, and this one is a solid gray, but both are gorgeous and would work wonderful together. I mentioned in my last Hobie video that Hobie is very upfront in letting you know that there are knots that hold the color changes together. 
So knowing that information, I'm assuming these are probably going to be the same way and it would be very easy to go in and color control and put this moral section with this other moral section and just kind of keeping all the light colors together. These do not have pull tabs on them. And looking through, I do not see any Hobie Twister or Sutton that look like this. Hmm. I wonder if this is a discounted colorway discounted discontinued colorway or if it's actually mill ends put together to make a new cake. A great resource for this would be to use Ravelry. So let's pull that up on the computer. I don't see any other colorways that have been put into the database like this. So I guess I got some unique cakes. I do love these colors though. Again, they're very beachy to me. This reminds me of the sand and this reminds me of like the sun bleached docks and how it gets those little white pieces in there. And this could be the ocean or the sky. So we have 473 grams of this. Now the bag tells us we should only have 225 grams a piece, which would be 250 grams. So we're already gonna have more yardage than we're supposed to on this one. So this one I feel like is an extra really good deal because you get more yardage than you're supposed to. But we're going to multiply that 473 times the 875 and we're going to divide that answer by the 225 and that is going to give us a total of 1,839.4 yards. That's a really good deal for $15. These, like I said, are very beachy, so this may wind up being a summer tee with some cap sleeves or something. I think that would be probably enough yardage, but I'm, I'm excited about this one. We're halfway through. I wonder what's next. What do you think? I'm kind of hoping something, well, never mind because it's happening. These are completely different, but this one is so so fun. This is one colorful rainbow, y'all. It is so pretty. I love all the marl in it. Look at that. Like this purple and blue is just really, really pretty. I'm not seeing anything like this on Hobie or Ravelry. This may be a complete mill in cake put together for one awesome crazy cake. Let's weigh and see what this one says. So I got 227 grams, and we're going to multiply that times the 875 divided by the 225. So I have 882.7 yards of this, but we're just going to round it up and say we have 883 yards, which is still a good bit of this really pretty cake. And since there's no other cake like it, it's very unique, and it's going to make a very unique piece that no one else can actually re uh, reciprocate unless they just pull random yarns from other cakes, which is always something very cool to me. So let's check out this one. This has got some really pretty blues and more all this kind of pastels. Don't see anything on Ravelry or Hobie for this one, but I have seen this color before. So let me pull it up and let me make sure. Okay, so yeah. That's awesome. Apparently, all last year, Hobie came out with these Hobie Summer Twister Cakes. I did not know about Hobie at the time. I did not find Hobie until the fall of last year. But I heard about these cakes. And I've been eyeballing the site like every few days to see if they were going back on sale. Because there was this color that I loved. And then there was one called Beach Volleyball that I really wanted to get. And this is definitely number one coastline. And coastline is a start off of a really, really pale pink. And then it goes into darker pinks and some blue morals. And this kind of, I call it a country blue because that's what, um, there's a red heart yarn that used to be called country blue. It reminds me of that. But this is so pretty. This would be like the perfect shawl with some jeans and just a t-shirt. Let's weigh this one. 242 grams. So it's actually over than what it said. So that makes me very happy since I love it so much. So 242 times the 875 divided by the 225. Okay, well, yes. 
So 941 yards of this gorgeous past Hobie yarn. I mean, I really wish it still had the cute label on it because I've seen the labels and I've talked about how I love the Hobie labels before. But this is definitely Hobie Summer Twister in number one coastline. And I have 941 yards of it, which is plenty to make a shawl. And we know that's what I like to make. We have one more bag to pull out and I'm kind of excited. But then again, it's bittersweet because I don't want this fun to end because this has been, this has probably been the best mystery bag purchase that I have ever made with yarn. I've done the Hobie mystery bags before and they were meh. This, to me, hands down, beats any mystery bag. I don't know. What do you guys think? This is pretty. So these look like twins. These are twins. It kind of looked different like that at first, but then I realized it's just the, the cake's kind of collapsing. So this is going to have to be rewound, or that's going to be a nightmare. But these are very, very pretty. I really like the colors. This reminds me of, like, Peacock. I don't know. For some reason, I get peacock vibes. Let's check out all the places to see if this is a yarn that is current. So it kind of looks like mermaids, but I showed you mermaids last week, and this is not that. Well, this is definitely another complete mill ends set. So I've got two actual Hobie colors out of this, four bags, and the other... We'll say three colorways because, you know, these kind of were the same, the grays. And this was total different. But I am okay with that because I really, really love these colors. There's no center pull in either one of these either. Interesting. So these start off with a lime green and then they go to like a brighter green. Yeah, and then they go to this kind of... I don't want to say country blue because this is country blue. And I think of this... The brighter blue here is like a royal blue. I don't know what kind of blue that you would call that, but it goes. So we have a total of 430 grams of these. Let me get my calculator. So 430 grams times the 875, and we're going to divide that by the 225. So that gives us a total of, whoa, 1,672 yards of this color, and I'm excited about that. I want to do a poncho maybe out of this. That would be really pretty because there's several ponchos that I want to make. And I may actually knit it. I don't know. Love these though. Well, there you go. So, so pretty. So what do you guys think? Which one's your favorite? Do you like these? The Atlantic Ocean is so pretty. The mystery mill end beachy theme. Or whatever this we'll call it the peacock we're gonna name this one peacock what's your favorite let me know down below and thank you so much for watching this video if you have enjoyed this please give this a thumbs up I would greatly appreciate it and if you haven't already maybe consider subscribing to the channel for more yarny content and until next time you can find me here